Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna hold the camera a little bit closer because it's super windy. Anyhow, in the last video, I gave away a couple memberships and uh, I wrote to you guys, the ones that we picked. Basically, we did like a lottery. I kind of put a bunch of numbers in a hat based on how many people commented in the first 24 hours. And then I picked three numbers and then that was basically the number of comments. So if you commented 7th, 8th, ninth, and I picked 7 or 8, ninth, that's how it worked. Anyhow, one person uh, wrote me back and they got I, I gave them it, but two of you guys haven't written back yet. So make sure to check your inbox in YouTube. Anyhow, so what we're going to do today is I'm here with Atua and Titus. And we're going to do something a little bit different today is conditions are kind of um, really windy. It's a really windy day, but the thing is, is when there's surf contests, it's always really windy. It seems like at least 60-70% of the time when you have surf a surf contest, you're surfing in really bad conditions. So it's important to practice bad conditions. Normally we wouldn't even go out on a day like this. But today what we're going to do is I'm going to give Atua two things to work on. And then he's going to go out for 20 minutes and he's going to try to work on those two, two things. And you guys are going to be my judge. Is he actually listening to what I tell him to do? And then I'm going to have him go out again for another 20 minute session and I'm going to give him two different things to work on. So it's kind of going to be like a kind of a training, coaching, sharing some tips so you guys can see what we're working on. So you ready, Atua? Yes! Titus, what, are you afraid of the camera? This is, this is Atua's friend, Titus. They've been hiking the waterfall and I'll tell you guys more about this hilarious video they made <laughs> that you can go check out. I'll give you that at the end of the video. But anyways, so here's the deal, Atua. It's super windy and blown out. So what I want you to do is I want you to focus on basically finishing your wave. So don't, I want you, I want you to make sure that you don't, if, if there's a closeout, you have to try to do a maneuver on that closeout. You gotta try to either do a lip line, float, or a floater, or hit it right into the closeout. So no bailing, okay? The second thing that I want you to work on is I want you to touch the wave on your backside and front side bottom turns, touching. Okay, you understand? Touching. So when you're going backside, you you're gonna you not you just want to tickle the wave as your hand reaches out and you're drawing into your bottom turn, front side and backside. So those are the two things you're working on, especially in a kind of a windy close, you know, a lot of closeouts, beach break kind of thing. You a lot of times the only score you're gonna get is that closeout last maneuver. And that's really important. If you don't do that and you don't practice that, you're not going to be good at it. And when you get to the situation, you're not going to be able to do it. And uh, Titus is going to join him. You going to join him, Titus? What do you think about the conditions? Super. Super windy, huh? It's all right. Okay, so go for it. 20 minutes practicing those two things. What are they? Touching the wave on my backside and front side and finishing the wave. Right. If you don't do it people that are watching this video are going to be like, he didn't do a single thing. Because that's what Tua does. He doesn't listen to me because no. I'm, I'm his dad. So, you guys are my witnesses. Alright, go for it. That was not bad. You caught what about four or five waves? Yeah. 20 minutes. Very hard to do on a set like that. So if you can go out and catch two decent waves. Like inside 
and all the sets would come and they like look from here it looks really small but for some reason out there they like drag you really far oh yeah sometimes it's like that where the white water drags you or you catch a little two second wave but then you're in like 50 yards all right uh Get my so, wipe out? no yeah barely i saw that wipe out i kind of got it um so uh were you touching the wave were you even thinking of it yes you started at space yet no i was well yeah i was thinking about when i was catching my left i was thinking about going like this lifting your hand yeah. good yeah a couple couple of those backside turns especially on these conditions is pretty good all right so we're gonna go out one more time i'll only most of the people watching this are probably thinking those waves look pretty damn good there's only like three guys out and everybody here is like oh i'm not gonna surf that it's not clean and glassy and you know barrels honestly where, where i grew up it was always windy and blown out too and i end up you get used to it but you have to learn to surf those all right so second heat 20 minutes focusing this time on turning your head i want you to exaggerate your head turn so when you go to hit the lip i want you to exaggerate turning your head and you want to turn your head just before you hit the lip okay okay second thing is i want you to exaggerate your arm movement so when you hit the lip or you're going backside, your arm needs to reach all the way back behind you and up to the sky. If you're going backside, if you're going front side, I want you to basically snap your arms through the movement. If you're doing a cutback, you get on rail, you go all the way around the cutback, and then when you hit the white water for the rebound, it's almost like you're doing a lifted re-entry. Exaggerate the hands. So when you hit the lip, both hands should go up and then follow your head as you turn. So what are you, what are you working on? Repeat it to turn my head more and to exaggerate with my arms. And turn your head just a tad earlier. Yeah. So right when you're about to hit the lip, then you turn your head. So you don't want to watch yourself hit the lip because then that means you, it's too late. You've already, you've already taken too much time to turn your head and turn your shoulders and then you're going to wipe out. All right, so I'm going to go on the lifeguard stand and then you go out. Come help me set up. Up on the lifeguard stand, we're chilling, cruising while the two is doing the training. <laughs> it's a Sunday, but you got to train every day. How'd it go? Uh, yeah, it was alright, but it's really like, I don't know, you get pounded, you get like shaky like in a washing machine on every duck dive. There's no easy duck dive. You were having a hard time on that second heat, yeah? Did you actually watch your, watch it to her? Did what? you, were you watching for 20 minutes? Yeah, you caught, you caught a lot of waves. Yeah, but you, you, what? On my last wave, my alarm went off. All right guys, so anyways, that's uh, kind of a new format of video that we wanted to try out where basically Tua runs out and does heats. I give him a couple things to work on. And then you guys can kind of watch and see if he's doing it. So tell me your thoughts, comment. Did a Tua do it? I mean, it was hard out there and he, you know, I was only giving him 20 minutes and it probably took like five, six minutes just to paddle out. But uh, we'll keep doing this and we'll keep running like certain drills so that you guys can just kind of see some of the stuff that Tua will be working on, Keely and anybody else that joins us. If you guys like Atua's videos and you think he's helpful, go over to his channel, Kid Prepper. I'll put a link. Him and Titus here made a, a video yesterday and I watched it and they did everything. They edit and they did it and they went up in the waterfalls and they found an underwater iguana and 
they were like in the middle of nowhere up this like private like waterfall and kind of adventure it was actually very entertaining and pretty funny so go check it out here's the link and uh if you like it to subscribe and you can support his personal channel there it's not so much surfing it's more about adventuring but it's we called will kid prepper it's called kid prepper yeah you can search it but here's the link to his his uh, last video anyways you guys have a good one and we'll see you in the next video